Security systems shuffled. Key code recovered. You know, like, sometimes you can hear the exact thing you need, and it's just so long before it actually makes it to the right spot. It's crazy. Is that a phrase from Romeo and Juliet? Maybe. I can't remember where I heard it, but it is It is. It is actually It's an extremely good phrase. You know what I mean? It's an extremely good phrase because I know besides for the people that are like, witch head, like I know you guys are memeing, but I'm just trying to be real here for a second, Twitch chat. Can you get your, can you get your, your ass off the top of your head? Anyways. I would like to tell you after this point how I completely transformed how I studied like 18 web frameworks until I became the perfect candidate but none of that happened truly what happened came down to numbers and luck applying for jobs Security it will always shuffle. be a numbers game this oh, by the way this this ending and the morale the morale of the story part of it is a little disappointing I'm just throwing it out there like I was really hoping to change was that like, you know, he really embraced the suck. He really crushed it as he continued to apply when it says just like, gosh, you got lucky. Was no it's honest exception. though, it's honest though. I had spent months trying to create side projects to put on my resume, trying to learn React, trying to read through cracking the coding interview. And finally, in January of 2017, I received a call from a tiny five person startup located Let's go. in San Diego. I was Nothing beats lucky luck, enough fact. to be asked technical questions in fields that I had prepped pretty well in the last few months. And even luckier... Nothing's better when you get asked a direct question word for word out of cracking the coding interview. So, let's just pretend you had a singly linked list and you wanted to find a cycle in it. And you're just like, oh, really? I've never heard this. Security Tell me about it. Shuffled. Well, if I were a thinking man, which clearly maybe I am, I would assume that you'd probably want... Like, it's almost like I could envision, like, a tortoise and a hare. And, like, one thing being able to speed fast while something else goes slow. And at some point, if there is a cycle, it's going to intersect. Gosh dang, I am smart. Never even heard of this question before. In fact, I'm not even sure what a tortoise or a hare is. I just know they exist, and I manifest this wisdom in the interview. This company was looking for a very specific profile of software engineer. Someone who was a new college grad, someone who could code and figure out problems, and someone who was willing to take a low salary. And so this was my yeah, I, took a, little, I took a low salary. So far removed from my original delusions of working for Facebook or some startup unicorn. But after the months of failure, nothing was sweeter than this sense of success I had in the moment. By the way, this is a great reminder that the pull yourself up by the bootstraps, though, obviously everyone oh, be toxic. Shut yeah, okay, shut up. There is something also really amazing about accomplishing something yourself. Being able to like get out there and do it and persist and get that W and know that you're the one that is trying to really push for that W. There is something about that that's really good. Like it really has made me feel like those are some of the things that makes me feel very good. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think of the scenario of if I didn't get that job offer. I wonder how long I would have been searching before I finally found one. A couple more months, six months, a year, a couple years? Would I have just given up? It's difficult to tell, but it was definitely one of the first lessons in my life about how incremental progress every day helps you to reach your goal. If I wasn't studying leak code, learning web frameworks, applying to jobs little by little every day, even this random stroke of luck, it wouldn't have panned out. If you found- Again, it's not because it's luck, it's opportunity, okay? That's hard work. Meets an opening, and you are already ready for it. Okay, I don't. I, it's hard for me to call it. You know, like I understand that there's luck involved. The fact that you saw it, but luck is not always just luck. You know what I mean? Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Exactly. It's just like you see these things, and it's just like 
I love this part, this last part, right? Where it's just like the perceived value of daily grind isn't really there, but what really is happening is you're growing up and you're actually getting better faster. And like so much of this is just all that hard work coming together. It's beautiful. On my story relatable in any capacity, you need to be the reason to make a change for yourself in life. At a certain point, no one will push you. No one will say anything to you. No one will force you to do anything. You will have to do it yourself willingly or be forced to by painful circumstance. That's a thumbs up. Oh, I must have already watched a video by him. Great video, by the way, created by Casey. That was a great video. Anyways, shot. the name. You know what the name is, okay? Hey, guess what? The name is the world's hard, and I absolutely love that we have the ability that we have. And you know what? Software engineering has been one of the greatest distributions of skills and pay to people. You know, the fact that I can be just some small Montanan kid and be able to go work at Netflix, I think is absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that people who have no ability, like no legacy, no rich parents, Repaired.